views from above who asked an early question before we even got started. How do you land an FPV drone slowly? When I land it, I get about a foot off the ground and disarm it. Is there a better way? Views for ab above, you have fundamentally uh, understood how an acro racing style drone lands. A clean, smooth landing of that style of drone just means doing that more and more precisely. Uh, but yeah, I mean, so instead of being one foot off the ground and going 10 miles an hour, you'll be six inches off the ground and going five miles an hour, or you'll be six inches off the ground and going like one mile an hour, or you'll almost be able to hover and then you'll disarm. Acro drones, when they touch the ground, if they're armed, they usually react badly. They can bounce. They can. They don't like it because they're sort of they're like a like a greyhound, like a racing dog. A greyhound racing is I'm, I'm not. I, that's a bad example because a lot of greyhound racing is of questionable ethics, and some people think, oh, they're mistreated. And I'm not. That's not. That's. Not, I didn't mean to go there. I'm not going there. Let's set that aside. My point is that they're a nervous, temperamental animal. And if you if you touch them to the ground, blah, they react. And so a lot so you don't want to do that. Unlike a camera drone, where you can literally just dunk and then just set it on the ground and it's like cool, I'm on the ground now. Acro and racing drones don't generally do well with that. It depends a lot on the flight controller. Some software handles it better than others. So what acro and racing and freestyle pilots do is we get as close to the ground as we can. We get as slow as we can, and then we just disarm and drop it. Um, if you want to practice this, practice perches. Go somewhere and practice. Just set a, set a cardboard box out in your yard if you want to really practice this. Just set a cardboard box in your yard and practice landing on the cardboard box and touching down. If you're very careful with the throttle and the sticks, you can do it and you can gently disarm. But most people don't. They don't worry about that because acro drones are not going to be hurt if you just boom, 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 tumble them in the grass at two miles an hour, right? A camera drone, it's not going to like that. It has to land smoothly. Acro drones, most most racing pilots don't bother learning how to land them precisely. They just go, you donk. Hey, I'm done. Because it doesn't matter. It's not worth the time. Okay. Well, uh, Continuing. Uh, Bo Weber says, you're good, JB. Greyhounds are treated way better these days. They're treated better than most of us. Well, that's, that's good to hear. I, um, I definitely, uh, wouldn't want to be seen as like supporting something that was abusive to animals. Uh, you know, certainly not on a live stream. I mean, I mean, everybody goes to a cockfight and gambles every now and then, right? I'm being told that I shouldn't have said that. It's a joke. 